Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, coming to you from ITW 2021, and joining me today is my old friend, Mr. Mike Persico. Mike is the CEO and founder of Anova Financial Networks. Mike, it is always a pleasure to have you on JSA TV. How are you doing? I'm well, I'm well. Thanks for having me, Dean. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Even if we can't see one another, even if we're really only about, what, 25 miles away from one another, we can't really see one another as much as we used to. It is always great to see you even virtually. But Mike, let's get right into it. Uh, 2021 has been a uh, pretty darn good year for you guys so far. But for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Anova? Yeah. So, you know, the, the elevator pitch is we're a carrier. Right. But it goes so much further than that. You know, we're a wireless carrier, similar to AT&T or Verizon, except we build networks not for someone to use on their cell phone, um, but we we build networks to connect financial liquidity centers. So we connect NASDAQ to NYSE. We connect CME to the Japanese stock exchange. And so we build some of the fastest, most reliable wireless networks to connect exchanges. Got it. And, uh, and and great segue for me, actually, because earlier this summer, I understand you launched a, <clears throat> excuse me, a 10 gigabit servant wireless service um, in uh, Secaucus in the, the New Jersey uh, Triangle. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, uh, that new service? Sure. It's interesting because when people think about the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, the big board at NASDAQ, those are in their corporate offices in Manhattan, but where the trading occurs, that's in New Jersey. And there's this 70 uh, kilometer triangle where three of the largest US equity exchanges are, are located. It's called the equity triangle. It's a very clever naming convention. But <laughs> um, so it's important for prices to be disseminated between these equity exchanges. Uh, you can look for inefficiencies um, and it keeps the market really tight in regards to spread and helps with li liquidity. So um, two of the large ex exchanges, uh, one is located in Secaucus, one is located in Carteret. So you have the BATS exchange and you have NASDAQ exchange. We built a 10 gig network there. Now, why is that interesting? It's interesting because from a wireless perspective, this is the most bandwidth that's ever been put into service in the history of network deployment, wireless network deployment. What does more bandwidth give? It lets us send a wider set of symbols and it lets us uh, account for what I would call a fast market. Um, and so basically we're getting closer to what fiber can do over a wireless network. I love it. And uh, apparently other people do, too, because there's a lot of recognition uh, that you guys are getting. Uh, specifically, congratulations are in order uh, for you and <clears throat> for your company. Uh, you're a winner of Trading Tech Insight Awards for Best Low Latency Data Feed Direct. Uh, and that, I believe that is uh, uh, in a large part because of your zero gap solution. So congratulations on that. But why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what that zero gap solution is? It's, it, uh, that that award is a real mouthful, you know, it's, it really it's, it's is. A, a good 15 seconds to get through uh, <laughs> all the descriptors. Um, but right, Zero Gap was a product that was predicated on the 10 gig network. And as I mentioned, you know, you have this capacity which offsets fast markets. When you have fast markets, you get more data. When you get more data, it, it really we're talking about microsecond level. Micro bursts is what they're called. Micro bursts are where traditional wireless networks have fallen over. And when you get too much data onto a limited capacity line, the line says, I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to throw it all away. And so that's what's called the gap. And when people get gaps in their feeds, in their price feeds, they miss where the market is at. And so that can be mistrading opportunities or it could jumble their order book because they don't know where the last price or price is were. And so our network, as the name indicates, 
is zero gap. Because we have so much capacity to put towards these price feeds, you don't, they don't get overwhelmed in the, a fast market or a micro burst. The other thing that we did is that, look, these are wireless networks. They can go down. Um, and because they're point to point, it's not like if you go into a cellular area with not a lot of towers or let's just say a tower went out, you lose half a bar. You use a, lose a bar on your signal. When, when we lose a site, the entire network goes down. Um, or if at the rain affects the, the site or the network, it goes down. But we built in something called self-healing, which is there's a fiber backup. And if you miss one packet of information, 64 bytes, you miss as little as that. We pause the wireless feed, we backfill it with fiber, and voila, your data is there. Albeit a little slower, but you still have it. Your order book doesn't get jumbled. You know where the market's at. So those, the confluence of those two things together means you have zero gaps. Well, um, well done. And obviously, like I said, uh, uh, much of the industry is taking note of that. But let's think ahead. Let's look six months, 12 months, you know, two years ahead. Um, what can we expect to see out of Anova? So the platform that we use for zero gap is our LTS. Uh, it's a laser transport system. And which is a better term. Uh, it's a more accessible term than FSO, which is free space optics, right? You know, anytime you can put laser in something, it, you know, evokes, um, you know, Austin Powers, right? You know, and, 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 and people identify with it. And so there's a little bit of marketing uh, cheekiness there, but um, I think it describes what it does uh, more aptly. But the point is, is that that's a platform, that, a platform that's proprietary to us. And so we want to continue to develop on that platform. Uh, there's already uh, plans and testing in place to put 25 gigabit per second on these lines. And so now you can get multiple 10 gig services. You could give private users full one gigs between these equity triangle locations. And so, um, you know, we see the evolution of this platform to almost be limitless. 25 gig is the first step. Then we would want to move to 50. Then we would want to go to 100. I mean, that's fiber-like capacity. And so that's always been the goal is to replicate as much of fiber connectivity with the latency benefit of wireless that you can. So how can you make it more available? How can you make it uh, have more capacity? And that's what we're working towards. And it's a, you know, we've got an R&D facility out in California and those guys are on this 24 seven, you know? And so it's, a, it's an exciting place to be because we're constantly pushing the envelope. We're constantly on the bleeding edge and bringing these products into production and it makes uh, it, it makes the job really rewarding. Outstanding, Mike. It is always a pleasure seeing you. Uh, it sounds like you've got a lot of things um, that you're that you're working on as you kind of push your 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 uh, platform forward. So let's do this again in like six months or so. How do you, what do you think? Sounds good. Outstanding. So thanks again, Mike. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Dean. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. 